Hi and welcome, my name is Lynette and I'm going to show you how we get closed captioning onto our web stories. So we are using Adobe Premiere in order to create this file. And uh, we'll start first of all by going to the top and selecting Window Workspaces. And from Workspaces we're going to go over to Captions and Graphics. These windows will open up for you. What you want to do is trans make a create a transcript. So as you can see, make it in English and use all the audio on the track. And after that, you hit transcribe. It'll take a few seconds here for it to uh, create the auto transcription. For this, for the purposes of this, this video was almost four minutes long. It's an interview from our noon show. So you should expect that it will take a little while to do. If you have other things to be doing, you can do that. Much like rendering, it'll just take a few, t few seconds to go. There, the transcription is complete, and now we can go ahead and check the text. If you notice spelling mistakes in the text, you can go back and fix them. Just click on the box where you see the spelling mistake, click on the word, it'll turn blue. And um, I knew that there was one at the bottom here as well, so um, they changed her name, and as you can see here, it says Big Sister's Medicine Hat turned into Big si Sister's Medicine Happened. I'm um, just fixing Dan's name here to his Rhinish. Uh, spelled different than how the auto speller thought it should be, so I'll just fix that one up. And then we'll change Happened to Hat. Once you're happy with all your texts, if you uh, go, if you look at the top, you can see a little CC window, uh, and that is where we're going to create our closed captioning. So what you want to do here is you want to create from the sequence transcript that you just created, and you just want to do a subtitle. Uh, you can see here you can change how many characters or how many letters there is for a maximum amount, uh, how, how long they're up for, I, three seconds is plenty, and then uh, how many, uh, how much of a gap between captions. I, I chose also to do double lines. So now you can see the captioning is there. Process the director of the service delivery with the and uh, it's in a font that I don't particularly like. So I clicked on one and then came over to the left hand side to grab all the fonts at once with control A. So what I'm going to do now is change the text type to something that I think is more suitable. Uh, something that's maybe closer to what we use in the news. So I went to the Trade Gothic Next LT Pro. It came in compressed, so I put it to regular. And as you can see there now, while I'm doing that, I can also change the size of everything. So I am adjusting there to create a size that I think is easy for a viewer to read. And I'm not really, um, you can have, have the text be in various positions on the screen. Lower middle is what I picked. And then I think it needs a background just to stand out a bit from the carpet there. So I'm going to change the color to more of a darker color, like a black. And it's not quite the right size. I think it needs to be sized better. So I'm going to go ahead and change the size of the box. And if you look down, you can see its uh, opacity is 75%. And then the size of the box is next to that. And using the slider, I can just change the size of the box. Uh, you can also um, change the corners from being uh, square corners to being round corners. That's what the one below it is. Um, here, let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see it a little easier, just what the box looks like now. So that's a little easier to read. And yeah, I can make the box bigger. And that, I think, is about the size I like. Uh, and then you can, round, like I said, you can grab it around the corners a bit just to make it look more stylized. There's a shadow that I don't think we need, so I, I disabled that. It doesn't really need a shadow for, for captioning purposes. So let me just square this back up again. And we'll have a look and make sure it plays OK. I'll set an out. And I'm going to go to exports now. A couple things you have to do here with exporting. Obviously, you have to give it a name. Uh, for us, our naming is uh, 
usually the date and what it is, and then if there's a name needed, then the name. So August 19th interview, Melissa Pearl is what I called it, and I put it in my export folders. I'm doing an H.264 uh, format for the web, and you can, um, you can see that that's our media file. And if we scroll down, um, you'll see that there's one there that's called captions. Let me just uh, scroll down a little farther here. There it is. And so it says here a subrip subtitle format, and that's fine. And we want to create a sidecar file. So this will take a few seconds here to encode. So here we are at 99% of the encoding. It's completed. And we're now done with the portion of the Adobe Premiere. So I will just minimize that. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and go into the Decast, log into there, and we are going to prepare to upload this item. So videos, and then upload video, and we will browse files. I place that in my uh, export folder. And as you can see, it's only showing you video files to browse, but that's OK. Uh, the upload, <coughs> excuse me, for a four minute interview isn't very long. Um, so while that takes place, we'll just, we'll just wait for it. And now that we're at 100 percent, it'll verify. And while it's doing that, we will go ahead and go to our videos. So there are a couple of ways to create thumbnails. What I did was I created my thumbnail to go for this item. I created it in um, Adobe beforehand, so I'll be adding that as well. Um, while the video is processing, I like to let it get into processing for a little bit before I actually go ahead and start to add other things into the file and to cast. So now when we click on it, you can see that there's a thumbnail there. We get on the little cloudy feature, and we're going to upload a file. And that's also in my exports folder. So it just takes a second for it to do that. And it'll pop in when we, there it is, it's already popped in there. So if you scroll down, you'll see it says subtitles. And we're going to add a subtitle. SRT file. So we'll open that up. And we just have to tell it that we want it to be in English. So we'll just scroll down to English and say add. And it will create the file for us. So we'll just have to uh, hit preview. And the commercial will pop up. But when the commercial is completed, we will have our video play. And you'll notice that there will be an extra box there that is for subtitles. If you do not see that right away, what you want to do is refresh to cast and then preview it again. And sorry, you'll have to watch the commercial again. You'll notice they're kind of dropping down funny. That is for the preview. It will not look like it when we actually get it through Superdesk and put onto the website. So let's have a look at what it would look like on the website now. So this is uh, chat news today. So there you have it. That's a quick to workflow of exactly how we are putting captioning onto all of our interviews and other items onto our web.